Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. This is the playlist of all the debit spreads end to end series with all the possible adjustments. Right. So this is going to be like part five. So already I've covered like part one, part two, part three and part four. OK, so this is the basics of the debit spread. <clears throat> this is a continuation of the basics of the debit spread. And then I've covered how to convert the debit spread to butterfly. OK, so this is the part four and also have covered how to convert your debit spread to strangle in, in case of loss making trade. So today I'm just trying uh, I'll try to cover the how to do the roll up or roll down the buy leg. So today we'll cover about the debit spread on the call side. So this would be debit spread part five. All right. Let me quickly take you to Opstra. So I've deployed a debit spread called debit spread. Market spot price is 34,710. So I already have told you the logic of selecting the strike rate. So just to reiterate, I mean, just to uh, give a recap, market was 34,700. So I've, I've taken the 500 points OTM as a call by right? 37,710. I've taken 35,200. To have the debit spread, what I've done is like from 35,200, right? I've taken the spread of 500. So that is 35,700 as my sold deck. So this is the combo for the debit spread. Obviously, with a rest to reward ratio of 3,000 to 9,000, that is like 1 is to 2. Capital deployed would be somewhere 20,000. Okay. So today we will just try to see like how to do the roll up or roll down in case if the market. So this debit spread we have taken with the view of bullish. Okay. So how to log the profit. So whenever the market goes as per our view, right? So we need to log the profit, ensuring that we end up into zero loss or mitigate the loss. Okay. So I've, I've deployed this trade on 24th June at 9.20. Okay. All right. So let me go to next day. Okay. Next day, I have a profit of 1,182 because market has almost reached to my break even. <clears throat> okay day one so let's let me go to day two okay so day two we have a profit of almost three thousand nine close to four thousand so four thousand on twenty five thousand capital i think you can calculate the uh returns i think that should be close to <clears throat> 15 16 i'm not sure right it should be ideally 15 to 16 percent now right how to log this profit so there is always an equal possibility in the market tomorrow market might end up into this green zone so then we'll start losing all the earned profit so the first adjustment what we do is like rolling up right as i said rolling up the winning side or rolling down the winning side so now we are taking the example of uh, call so we have to roll up this leg because this is the winning side right the call by we bought it at 237 so now it is giving a profit of 6900 whereas this whole leg is giving a loss of 2900 so net net we have the profit of 3976 so how to log this profit all right so we need to square off this leg in the sense we have to exit this leg i'll go to the profit and loss we bought it at 237 now it is 514 so we have the profit of 6922 so we have to act as a buyer Right. So, we, I mean, if we hold this trade, so tomorrow with the theta decay, we might end up losing this profit or else maybe this profit will go to like 3000, 2000 with the theta decay. Okay. So now let's book this leg. Okay. We will book this leg at 514. All right. 514. <clears throat> okay. And then we have squared up this leg. Right. So we need to roll up. Okay. So if you look at the difference, if you look at the spread, See, already we have discussed in the part one, right? So let me uh, quickly uh, give a recap. Looking at the spread, right? So we have almost 500 spread, 35,700 minus 35,200. So we have this spread. So we have to reduce the spread now. Okay, so from 35,200, let's uh, get a new call leg at 35,500. Okay. <clears throat> let me go to option chain, 35,500. Okay, let me by this leg okay see when we buy this leg right when we buy this leg we have mitigated the loss of 
right? 3,000, 2,900 and 3,002. Almost we have turned our loss into profit. So even tomorrow, if market makes a lower circuit of 10%, 20%, we will get a profit of at least 1,532. Okay, which is like 5 to 6% on the capital deployed. And on the upper side, we have the potential profit of 6,538, right? 6,538. So initially, let me delete this leg. Okay. Uh, let me delete this leg, right? So initially, we had a profit of, uh, okay, even I'll just, I'll take you back, I'll make this zero just for the learning purpose right so we had a profit of 9000 we had a loss of 3000 okay so just check how the trade gets converted so i'll book this 514 right 9000 to 3000 i'll book it at 514 then i'll get i'll buy 35500 35500 <clears throat> Okay, so this is the payoff, the current payoff, right? From 9,000, it came to 6,500, no doubt, because we had a loss of 3,200. So by just sacrificing some profit, we have reduced our loss not only to zero, but we made the downside as 1,500, which is like five to six, seven, five to six or seven percentage on the capital deployed with just one adjustment by squaring off the uh, profit making leg and then buying a new leg 550 to 35,500. Ensure that you're not crossing this 35,700. Okay, now let me go to next day. Okay, so I have the profit. Let me go to next day. All right, so market stays as it is. So we have a profit of 3,180. Okay, we are on 29th of June, right? two days to expiry. Okay. We are safe actually. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Even if market makes a lower circuit, we will at least get the profit of 1538. So let me go to the next day. Right. So we are on 30th of June. So one day, one day to expiry. The market is falling. Right. So either we can just hold this trade <clears throat> or else if you want some extra profit. What we can do is like you have a sold leg or 35,700. So market is going downside and we have only one day for expiry. So what we can do is like we can sell a naked call option if required. If you're okay with this profit of 7% for, for one week, I mean, you can just hold the trade. So if even market makes a down moment, you'll end up getting 1,500 profit. If market makes a move on the upper side, you'll end up getting into 6,530. But if your view says that, okay, market is still gonna be uh, making it downside mode so what you can do is like right you, without taking much risk you can just sell a naked call position so you have already one call position is 35,700 so let's take 35,900 naked call 35,900 okay I'll take I'll sell this call <clears throat> so we are selling okay just to get this additional 21 21 uh, rupees premium because end of the day uh, if it this if this is like OTM so this has to become zero okay we are just taking a very calculated risk on Wednesday okay the moment you have sold this extra call you see the profit has come to 2085 from almost like 1500 so there is a uh, increase in like 500 profit right and the potential profit has also increased from 6000 it has got to 7000 in the middle portion. Okay, let me go back to sorry, let me go to next day. Okay. <clears throat> okay, next day the market has right fallen down. Your profit is intact, right? 2036. And even if market keeps going down, so your profit will be like uh, intact. Okay, so let's let's see what will happen at the end of the day. So we are at 9 920. So if required, you can sell one more call here because mark i mean market is almost like from your selling point the market is like 2.68 percent so if you're confident that market will not make a move of 2.68 on the expiry you can start selling the naked call option just to take the advantage of the market but i'm not taking the call 
I'm okay with this 2000 profit because 2000 is a huge amount. Okay. And then let me go back to <clears throat> take you to the end of the day. Okay. Keep a check on the market. Market is flat. Our profit is like 2050. I'll take you to the end of the day. Okay. So this is your end of the day. So we made a profit of 2083. Okay. So now let's see what would have happened in case if we did not do these adjustments. Okay. So I'll delete this leg. <clears throat> Even I'll delete this leg. I'll just make this to zero. Okay. So this was our original debit spread. So you would have been in a loss of 3157 your maximum loss. This is your original debit spread. Okay, so market has made a up move and then it came down. So you ended up into loss. So this is the beauty of debit spread. So wherein you need to be like very good at adjustment. So whenever you start seeing the profit, ensure that you're locking the profit by doing the appropriate adjustment. So let me take you back to day one just to simulate without doing any adjustments. Okay. So we were at <clears throat> 920. Okay. Let me get you back to 920, 124th. Okay. This is where we started our trade, right? This is where we have deployed zero loss. Okay. Let me take you like one one day okay so without doing the adjustment see how the trade would go i'm just going to next day your profit is 1182 we already saw that next day your profit was 3976 so this is where we have done the adjustment by rolling up this by exit by uh, closing this leg by booking the profit of almost 7000 and then we bought 35500 okay in case if you have not done any adjustment, see how your trade will behave. We have not done any trade yet. So I'm just going to next day. Market has fallen. So your profit has become again 2000 from 3000 uh, close to 4000. So let's say even you have not logged your profit. So still you have the view of market going up. Okay. So let's see what happened next day. Market came down. So you have a loss of 258. All right. You are almost on the 30th June. So let me take you to the next day. Almost you are at loss of 2,826. And if, if I take you to the close of the market, you know, right, you will get into 3,158 loss. Okay, let me show you one more time. <clears throat> almost 3,156 is your maximum loss. So this is where the debit spreads plays a very important role. It will give you absolute profit, right? If you're very good at doing your adjustments because we never knew, right? Market might uh, go up, market might take a U-turn. So you have to ensure that whenever you see any good profit, whenever your MTM shows a good profit, ensure that you are just locking that profit by mitigating the loss on the downside. Though we are not planning any ways to get the maximum 9,341, uh, right? So I would say on a capital of 20 to 22,000, even if you get a profit of 1500, which would be like six, 7%, right? And even if you get like three to 4,000 of profit the next day, so don't even do the adjustment, just exit your trade because 4,000 would be like almost like 16% to 20% in a day, right? You know, right? That, that, that's, that's, I mean, in terms of your profit, even the bank would give you like 16% in four to five years. Okay, so start practicing the debit spread. Do not focus on this maximum profit. The capital deployment for the debit spread in Bank Nifty is like somewhere to 20 to 22,000. So whenever you see a profit of 1,500 in a week or in a day or in one or two days or greater than 1,500 friends, just exit the trade. But if you're good at doing some adjustments, right, then you can do the adjustments by by mitigating your loss right make the trade green from from 
top side as well as the bottom side forget about the top side do not even focus on this 9341 even if you get like 2000 profit you should be like very happy with the returns that would be like 9 to 10% so ensure that you are mitigating your loss all right so this is the beauty of the debit spreads let me take you so this is what the adjustments have referred i've covered this triangle part you can just refer this video part 4 i've covered the butterfly how to convert your debit spread to butterfly this is one of the very good adjustments wherein you can just lock your profit and also you can lock uh, uh, your loss right and now today we have covered about rolling up or down the buy leg we have taken an example of bullish trade so we have just done the roller i'll take an example on the downside also i'll just make a video by taking one good example so i think we have already covered this four different adjustments and i think i have all this two also ratio ladder how we can convert the debit spread to ratio ladder or how we can convert the debit spread to ratio spread so i have all those videos right i'll be just uh, uploading them to the youtube and we will see like we have already seen the naked sell right in the current in the current example right we have just uh, did the naked selling from the opposite side meaning when our trade was green so we we sold almost 35900 naked selling wherein we we were able to get some additional premium and that that we have done on the wednesday if you have done if you want you can just do one call naked call options on the expiry day because market was somewhere here right that was almost like 2 to 3% from your naked call selling so you could have already sold one more call position to get some additional uh, credit but i haven't done that because we were discussing more about the debit spread all right friends so i think i'll be uploading these two videos and then already we have covered the naked sell contra trades i think i have a different video right so i'll just try to upload them into the playlist friends please subscribe my channel and also try to share with your friends and as and when i get with some unique adjustments right i'll try to keep adding the numbers over here so this is not the end for any adjustments and even if you come across any good adjustments always try to share with your friends with all the retail traders right so this number 8 is not an end for sure so we might end up getting into 12 14 as and when we do the trading so we might come across all the unique adjustments so whenever you come across any unique adjustments just make a note and you can just do the back testing and we can always share with our friends okay thank you friends thank you for watching my video right please start sharing with your friends